Elon Musk just made an insane discovery on Mars. It is no news that in a few years, a million people will establish a new civilization of mankind on Mars. Although we are still a long way from making sure, with Elon Musk and NASA at the forefront, we are slowly getting there. Even though things seem to be going smoothly, a recent discovery on Mars by Elon Musk and NASA will change everything. Compared to other planets, Mars is the better option. Our closest neighbor Mercury and Venus are similar to microwaves which, as you might have assumed, are not habitable, as is the sheer amount of temperature waiting to crush the lungs and then desiccate the skin of any human or spacecraft that even tries to approach those planets. The two planetary bodies are almost unapproachable. We try to keep our dreams of becoming extraterrestrial beings in check considering the hot zones. Other planets would have been better options if only they didn't have cold temperatures well below what the human body could adapt to. Let's not even mention the long-forgotten dwarf planet Pluto. Agencies like NASA and SpaceX have set up a renewed push to find how convenient it would be to live on any of these planets. What we have now is a fraught run to discover the slightest sign of life within the crust of Mars, the only planet that might be habitable. We put a probability on it due to many unknown factors that have averted humans from giving birth on Martian soil. Several things include the dense atmosphere and the inherent cold. Mara may not be as cold as the other planets, but it still has a fairly crushing atmospheric pressure that is harmful for human health. Although several gases that combine to form the atmosphere are less volatile than detected. It is high time we accept the fact that we are the only ones in existence in the solar system and Earth has only just evolved enough to be able to acclimatize us all. Other planets are not so friendly. Elon Musk has been preening eye to eye with NASA's researchers through their probes and rovers that have been sent to the Martian atmosphere to survey the solid natural landscape and see if the red planet is comparable to our Earth. What has been discovered over the past five years is fascinating. With the potential discovery of water trails, underground rivers, geysers, and potentially springs that may have lived at some point in the planet's evolution. Scientists are searching for signs of water that made progress via NASA's Curiosity rover which poked in the right spots and found smooth, rounded pebbles on what seems to be a river path. The river must be at least ankle to hip deep, however, it's nowhere to be found, as it's all dried up now along with many lakes surrounding Mount Sharp. A unique landform on Mars, the rock of Mount Sharp, stands at approximately 1,000 feet high and could very well have been just mud over an immense body of water. The ones that flowed in that region, known as the Gale Crater, carbon dating would possibly reveal that the rivers and lakes in this area might have existed for a million years. As usual, some of the things worth considering when assessing whether a body of water ever existed would be to examine if it could have supported live microbes. So the Curiosity rover took a handful of scoops of soil samples here and there for scrutinizing. The results of the robotic rover indicated that the sample comprised key components sulfur, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and carbon. Obtaining the sample by drilling in, what scientists have chosen to refer to as the sheep's bed mudstone. These vital elements should open the door in your mind when you discern how significant these elements are to all life on Earth and if it is found on Mars as well. Other material content of the samples were clay and certain salts. This caused scientists to deduce that the water that flowed there was fresh and equally drinkable. The Mars rover also discovered more organic rocks in the rock beds of Mars. Unlike previous expeditions, the Curiosity rover was equipped with a special drill that enabled it to drill holes in rocky formations, thus efficiently extracting samples from the rocks. But these samples don't indicate the possibility that life ever existed on Mars in the past or present. However, it could signify well for the future. Some of this ancient organic material can be used to validate new studies. Basically, we feel like we now know more about the nature of the red planet. It also puts our thoughts in the right direction. Another remarkable discovery is the presence of active methane in the atmosphere. The Mars rover's atmosphere is armed with laser technology called a tunable laser spectrometer, which is able to detect atmospheric methane levels and can reveal if there's an increase in the level of methane. 
Why is this discovery of methane a win-win? Methane is deemed to be one of the most essential carbon compounds that living organisms can easily produce and that microorganisms or plants can thrive on Mars, although there is no such observation to prove that they currently exist. Scientists are exploring other options. Methane might have been formed by the constant reaction of rock and water. If there's anything we're scared about Mars is the alarming radiation levels. As if it isn't bad enough, NASA has declined to send astronauts to Mars because the radiation is too heightened to work without personal protective equipment, which could set back crew plans for a few years. The rover has also detected galactic cosmic rays, often produced by supernova explosions, and solar energetic particles emanated by solar flares and high energy liberated from the sun. So Elon Musk apparently knows how to overcome the radiation and plausible low temperature plaguing the Martian atmosphere. According to him, we could heat it up a bit with our own form of planetary thermostat, otherwise we can only fantasize of figuring out safer ways for astronauts to land on Mars and actually achieve something that will ultimately benefit human progress from Earthlings to Martians. The planet is just too barren compared to Earth which stays a mystery, as does every other obstacle that once stood in the way of human advancement. We'll certainly overcome this one someday.